Hi, my name is Brady Gaster, and I work at Microsoft in Redmond, Washington, USA. Uh, I work as a program manager on the docs.microsoft.com product team, helping you understand how to use our technology better through improved documentation systems. In my spare time, I really like working on Azure tooling, and uh, today I have a demonstration for you. Uh, here we have the Azure Tools for Visual Studio Code uh, extension for VS Code uh, on the uh, marketplace. Uh, this is something I've put together. If you want to install it, all you have to do is do ext install, Azure Tools for VS Code, or just use the extensions palette. Here we have the Azure Quick Starts template uh, uh, repository. In this repository, we have templates to do everything. VMs, web apps, Redis caches, data lake, SQL Server, Postgres SQL, SharePoint, everything you can think of you ever want to do in the cloud, we have templates for it. Uh, we also have another extension for Visual Studio Code called the ARM uh, tools, the uh, Azure Resource Manager tools, and they give you nice IntelliSense functionality, parameter references, variable references, and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, my product, the uh, Azure Tools for VS Code, has taken a dependency on the ARM editor uh, because what we've done is we've given you the ability to search the Quick Start repository and pull down templates that you can then edit using the tools. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go back into VS Code. I've logged into my Azure account. I'm going to do search. Uh, now I'm going to type in web app. I'm going to do a quick little search through the results that I get because I want to deploy a web app from a GitHub repository. So you see that I've selected the web app GitHub uh, guy and you'll see that I've uh, already downloaded the Azure deploy and parameters JSON files. Uh, and then what, I've, what we're doing is we're putting all the templates into a subfolder of your workspace called ARM templates. And I see that I flipped over to the actual Azure Deploy JSON file, which is the ARM template. And I'm going to scroll down and show you a couple different parameters, specifically SKU. I'm going to create a free site here, and you'll see that I've already got a couple of parameters in the uh, params file. I'm just going to go ahead and give the site a name and specify the hosting plan that I want to name it in. Uh, that I'm going to put my site in. And now I'm going to go ahead and I want to add the SKU. The SKU that I'm going to want, see that I've got that IntelliSense uh, stuff, uh, goes ahead and tells me I can put the value of F1, which is one of the values that I have, and that is a free site. Now some other properties that we have in here are repo URL and branch. Now the creator of this template, Mr. David Ivo, uh, has created it such that uh, it creates an uh, ASP.NET MVC site, and I'll show you right here. Uh, this is Dave's uh, GitHub repository. Now we're not going to be using that one. We're going to be using a, a different tool that I actually wrote called Downer. Been blogging about it recently. Uh, it's a blogging engine uh, that runs on Markdown and ASP.NET Core. So this is the repository for that. I want to go ahead and select the GitHub repo uh, and do a copy. I want to flip back over to my template here. I want to go to my template parameters file. I don't want to edit the template directly. I'll go ahead and I'll add the repo URL parameter here. And I want to go ahead and put the value as uh, the downer uh, repository that I just copied. Go ahead and paste that in here. And now what I'm going to do is I want to change my region by clicking this world icon. I want to select West US. And the last step is that I'll hit F1 one more time to open up my command palette, and I'll select Deploy. Now what this command is going to do is it's going to see all the different templates that I've downloaded in my ARM templates uh, folder. I'm going to create a new resource group. That resource group, uh, I can just give it a name right here. If I wanted to select an existing one, I could. I'm going to create a new one right here, my downer blog resources. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit enter, and now see that I've already created the resource group, and now it's actually deploying that template out to my account. Real quickly, I'm going to do a browse resource group from within VS Code. I'll select that resource group I just created. I'm going to bounce out to the portal here, and now what you'll see in the portal will go directly to uh, the subscription where I've published this. You'll see that I've got my personal downer uh, blog right there, and something is actually being deployed to it at this time. And if I flip over here to the actual site that we created, and I scroll down to the deployment options tool, uh, what you'll see here is that we're actually deploying the stuff directly from GitHub. Now it's going to take a few minutes, my build's going to run, grunt tasks are going to run, and after about seven or eight minutes, uh, the site will be deployed. You'll see I want to go back up and click on Overview, and go ahead and click this URL, and you'll see that there's the site. It's running live. 
Uh, and that all happened because I created uh, the template, or I downloaded the template directly from within VS Code uh, from the Quick Starts repository uh, by doing a search for web app. And then I made a couple of quick changes to it and deployed it directly from within VS Code. Now, any platform that supports VS Code, Mac, Linux, PC, anything, anything where, anywhere where you can run VS Code, you can install this guy and access your Azure subscription and make changes to it, create websites and that kind of stuff. And you can do a git deploy directly like we've done here, or you could even use a local git repository on the back of your web app. And hey, if you want to go crazy, if you need a VM, if you need a Redis uh, monster cache, or if you need some sort of a uh, VM scale set, or even a virtual network, you could download all kinds of templates directly from the Quick Starts Gallery. Again, just by doing a quick search from within VS Code, making some changes to your template parameters, and then deploying it uh, right out to Azure. Uh, you have all that directly at your fingertips from within VS Code using the Azure tools for VS Code extension. Uh, thanks a lot for taking time to watch this. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let us know if you have any ideas or feature requests. I'm Brady Gaster. Talk to you later. Bye.